are we teaching them um, the masculine version of Thundercats? Or are we showing them the Cal Arts soy based pussy version of Thundercats? Are we mocking masculinity or are we cherishing it? We're we making it look cool. We're giving these boys something to aspire to. Here's, here's the other thing to remember about pop culture, okay? Uh, now, the people who, um, who like Star Wars an awful lot, who it means a lot to, the people who like Dungeons and Dragons, the people who like video games and comic books, these are smart people. These are not the, the alpha Chad guys necessarily who are going to go out and end up doing this or that. These are the guys who are actually going to grow up to be doctors. Uh, or lawyers. Uh, these are the smart kind of uh, nerds who, you know, keep their noses in the books and actually possibly change the world. So the, the culture that they're taking in is vital. This is a battleground. What we teach our boys, you know, what we, what, what we teach our boys are smart, exceptional, special boys. Uh, and I use exceptional advisedly. Uh, is uh, is important. It's important. Are we are we teaching them um, the masculine version of Thundercats, or are we showing them the Cal Arts soy based pussy version of Thundercats? Are we mocking masculinity, or are we cherishing it? We're we making it look cool. We're giving these boys something to aspire to. Is it GI Joe? Are we showing them GI Joe anymore? No, they don't know what GI Joe is. GI exactly. Joe. Exactly. G.I. Joe was the was the uh, toy line, the cartoon that inspired my friend, your boy, Zach, to enlist in the military and go serve overseas. He kept a little G.I. Joe action figure in his pocket the entire time he was there, risking his life against fucking terrorists for his country. That's what that's what all of this stuff means. I mean, you know, you think yeah, and, and I, I want... it's, it's just Star Wars or it's just He-Man or it's just, you know, uh, video games. It's just Call of Duty. And, and therefore, it's not important. It is important. These are the things that actually shape our ideas of what it means to be a man. And if these social justice warriors, these soy boys can get in there, these feminists, and they can monkey with it and they can change it and they can make it embarrassing to be a man. If they can make these things embarrassing, if they can demasculinize and de-penis Luke Skywalker, put him in a bathrobe as a failure, somebody who gives up and sucks, literally sucks on sea monster tit, instead of fighting the first order, which is what he should be doing. What kind of message does that send to our boys? What kind of message does that send? How are boys supposed to grow up without Luke Skywalker? You know, as an ultimate role model, how are boys supposed to grow up if Batman is sitting there crying over Catwoman, denying him uh, his, his uh, you know, leaving him at the altar, whining about Selena Kyle all day long? Boys don't have the role models that they used to have because the most incredibly depressed, mentally ill weirdos have taken complete control of our pop culture and they're ruining it. And we talk about it every day as the Phantom Menace. We talk about it on our channels, but we don't get right to the heart of it. That's what it is. You want to pump out more soy boys that look, look like Will Wheaton? This is the inevitable result of all of this. This is where we're going. This is why we fight so hard. YouTube. YouTube's alarmed at what we're saying. Why are you alarmed? We're actually helping to fight back to raise the next generation of boys. They're going to fight for your freedom when it when it inevitably uh, is going to be threatened again in this country. These boys need heroes. They need masculine role models. They need heroes, people who don't sit around and cry and mope and whine, people who put themselves last, who put uh, heroism, their country first. It's so important. So these people, these SJWs are destroying our culture in a very, very visceral, uh, harmful, damaging way. And it's up to us. I know it seems silly to cry about Captain Marvel or Star Wars or The Last Jedi over and over again. Jeremy, you're like, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of talking about Last Jedi. You can't stop because somebody hasn't heard this message yet. It's the same old truth to the same old idiots until they change what they're doing, until they wake up and realize that they're destroying people. They're taking away our balls in a very literal way. Our boys are growing up to be pussies because they don't know any better. Because Anita Sarkeesian, <laughs> they're afraid of offending Anita Sarkeesian. They're afraid of offending Gail Simone. They're afraid of offending these blue haired land whales uh, on social media. They're afraid.
that was some of the greatest content you have ever produced on YouTube. I agree. You, you, you need to take that that clip and, and upload it to your channel. That was fan-fucking-tastic. Holy hell, that was great. The previous highlight was brought to you by your friends at the High Council and their guests. If you liked what you heard here, I encourage you to subscribe to all of their channels, which are linked in the description below. Also, subscribe to Pop Culture PB so that you never miss a High Council highlight.